Hello, this is Todd Martin, and I'm back. And I am doing another, uh, the fourth Python server client tutorial. Now, my apologies for not coming out with one recently. I'm going to try and quickly explain here for uh, my reason of being slow. Uh, the purpose of these tutorials was to give a very uh, low level basic introduction into doing things within Python and showing how programs work, uh, just how things work in general. And this one was focusing on using a server and a client and sending data and accepting data. Um, the issue that I'm having is I'm trying to keep it low level and really, really basic, especially because I haven't gone into a lot of the higher level stuff. And I'm trying to find that middle ground because to continue with this, I'm eventually going to have to start creating higher level source files, higher level Python programs to be able to do everything that, that we want to do with this. So I'm trying to find that middle ground and it's kind of hard right now and uh, I actually had a user comment on a video down here. Minimize that. Um, he brought up that the that in the Python chat server too that it doesn't exactly function properly. Now I meant to pull this up before I started this video. Should be the client. As you guys can see, I have folders where I've been working on this. Alright, if I am correct, this is the client file you guys should have from my last video. So, let's fire up the good old terminal. Actually, the server, I'm going to run out of here because I forgot exactly what path will there's a path. Run. Python shell. Alright, I'm just going to run it out of here. Uh, change directory to desktop slash chat slash chat server dot pi. That was a fail. Alright, so now our server is running. I'm going to open up a new window here. And I actually think the last video whenever I was demonstrating this, uh, this server right here, I was actually using the Python shell to show it really quickly. If I can, I didn't go back and watch the video and it's been a while. But I do believe that I use the Python shell, which is... right here, you know, where I can import the socket. And so to get this client right here, which is change directory to desktop, change directory to old, python, client.py. As you can see, I can send a message here. We have a bad file descriptor. I'm trying to think if I modify this code. But ultimately what I want to point out is the reason being as to why our last client didn't exactly work as expected is mainly because right here. So we say while true we are going to have a message message equals raw input then we are going to send the message and then we're going to immediately uh, wait we are awaiting a reply and the reply well the server that we have here, actually I should comment this out because this doesn't exactly work, I have to fix that. And I'm going to have to, I'm going to explain in this video how we're going to go about fixing that. So the problem right here is right here we're not sending any data, any data. So whenever this is running through it saying okay we sent data, now we are awaiting data to be received. Well, the problem is, is that this server isn't sending out data like it's supposed to. This s.sendall, it isn't doing exactly what I thought it would do, so I have to rethink how to go about that. But since it's not sending in any data back, our client here would be waiting in this reply right here, which is rather bad. And 
actually I think this all should be commented out because I'm not using that so ignore this up here so to simply kind of fix this issue for right now you would just take out all of this and you should be able to just keep on sending messages to the server you're not going to get a reply from the server unless you set the server up to get to give a reply just like we did in the first uh, server that I set up because or I should say version one of the server um, in the third video this I will call that version two of the server which is this right here so how do we go about doing this so here is the method that we're gonna have to go about doing this and it's used in a lot of chatting programs such as uh, Skype and how we're gonna have to go about doing this is we're gonna have to find a way to we're gonna need an incoming port and an outcoming port on both the server and the client so that way all incoming transition or all incoming transmissions or messages go to the incoming port and they get sent out through the outgoing port so the server we will be able to do this with one source file with the client we're going to need two source files to make it easy on us we're going to need a source file that will send data and one that will receive data we'll, with with the server it's going to be a tad bit easier in a sense so I hope you kind of understand that and I'm trying to find a way to do this without getting into extremely high level programming because right now we're on a very low level basic and the next level to be able to advance this is to get pretty high up there and I just have to find a way to kind of get in the middle to kind of gradually step it up because that's how I want to go about doing this I don't want to you know here we are we're just now you know we're working with functions and then I throw out a class with 20 functions and then I have to explain classes and variable scope and to throw all that information at you guys just kind of wouldn't be fair and some of you guys would actually probably be lost I would be too I, I actually was because whenever I was learning Python that's kinda how I learned in a way and it was very very rough for me to learn Python in that way so I'm trying to prevent from you guys who are wanting to learn how to do things in Python to have to go through that headache so to kind of kind of talk about what all we have to do um, we're gonna have to set up two ports for the server and two ports for the client incoming and outgoing this is kind of the same procedure that is used in Skype you know you'll send a message on one port and then you'll get your response on another port so this way it frees up you know frees up the port frees up the port more traffic can go in and out so hope that just kind of explains it and once again to get the client that we made to work we'll just simply comment out these last three lines and we can just keep on sending messages to the server I hope to have something to you guys soon by the end of this week is what I'm hoping for I've had some emails about it and I apologize because I did email a couple people and tell them I will have something out the next day and then I sit down and I start writing it and then I realize that this is getting a little bit too advanced too quick so I apologize for that and hopefully I'll have something out by this coming up Friday